Okay, let's take a quick look at home link uh, 8.1 for everyday math third grade. And we're getting into fractions here and fractions of shapes. <clears throat> so each of these is 1. The square equals 1. What is the fraction inside each place here? Um, I think the first two are pretty simple, but let's just go through them quickly. So here there are two <clears throat> equal parts to the shape. So each one is going to be one half of the shape. Okay, and then looking over here, you see there are four equal parts. <clears throat> so each part is going to be, well, you can figure that out. I'm not going to give you that one. But <clears throat> similar to this, but now there are four equal parts. So just figure that out. This one is a little bit uh, trickier because these parts are not equal. So you have to imagine if this were split into parts that look the same as this. So if we did that, it would look a little bit like this. So we know now how many parts there are. One, two, three, four. So this one is one fourth. And now you have to look at the other parts. And how many parts is this out of four? So just count them. And how many parts out of four would that be? Uh, all right, next up over here, uh, we need to now write a fraction. So don't just answer this question, it needs to be a fraction. What fraction of the buttons have four holes? One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> out of a total of this many has four holes. I don't have uh, space to write it on top, so I'm going to use a slanted line for this one. And it's five sevenths. It's five sevenths. And then, same question, but the opposite. What fraction of the buttons have two holes? You should be able to do that one on your own. Um, and if you're in my class, then please uh, ignore this. We won't be doing this. Uh, but let's look at the last part. We've got some subtraction, and we're going to solve them and show our work. And you can use two methods, and maybe use one method for one and another method for the other ones. And I'll just do the first one with two methods. And we'll start by counting up subtraction. And we need to start here with 88. And you could go to 90, but at this point you might be able to count up more quickly by going straight to the next 100. So I know if I add 12, that's going to take me to 100. And from there, I can actually go all the way to 275. If you can, you could go plus 175 and get all the way there, or if you need to break it down into smaller steps, that's also okay. So you could go to 200, then to 75. And now you're there, and which numbers did you add? You've got those three, so I could go now um, 175 plus 12. And that's gonna give me the answer. And let's just try it uh, now with the borrowing method or trade first method as well. So can I uh, subtract 8 from 5? No. So I need to borrow a 10 from here and add it to make 15. So this becomes 6. I'm taking that 10 and putting it over here. Now 15 minus 8 is going to give me 7. Next, same idea, can I take away um, 80 from 60 or 8 from 6? No, I can't. So I need to borrow 100. So 200 becomes 100. This is now 160 or 16 minus 8 or 80. It's going to give me 8 and there's nothing left. And look at that. Our answer is the same. How nice is that? So there you go for the first one. And don't forget to 
show your work. And again, try, um, try to use different methods or even use the same method twice so you can check your own work um, and make sure your answers are accurate. So that is it. Home link uh, 8.1 Everyday Math. Thank you.